What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the Volpro Scooters. Today, you're joining me for another episode of What's New in Scootering. For those of you guys who don't know what this series is, this is where I break down, showcase, and talk about all the new and exciting products that have been released here in the pro scooter world. So grab a snack, it's gonna be a good episode, and uh, let's get into it. We're gonna be focusing on one product today. Well, you, you saw the title of the video, so you guys already know what it is. But the product that we're gonna be talking about today is very special, very unique, and I'm really, really excited to see what it's all about. So, what product are we talking about? Boom. The product we're gonna be talking about today is no other than the Root Industries Extension Deck. What is the Root Industries Extension Deck, if you guys don't know? The Root Industries Extension Deck is essentially Root Industries' new flagship aftermarket deck. There is something about this that makes it very, very special. You can tell by the name, but I think it's time that we open up the box, pull the deck out, and showcase just exactly what makes this deck so special. So obviously there's a lot more than just a deck here. I'm gonna move some of this other stuff out of the way for now. We will be talking about everything, but I really wanna focus on the deck. So here it is, it's packaged up, open it. They do a really nice job packaging their decks. I'm not gonna say that now. Shout out to Root, the extra effort is recognized. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. This right here in my hands is the Root Industries Extension Deck. So what makes this deck unique, what makes this deck one of a kind, what makes this deck revolutionary, if you will, this deck is actually able to change widths. You heard me right, change, you can change the width of this deck. Think about how many scooter riders out there right now watching this video may have bought a five five inch wide deck because all your friends had a five five, but you weren't sure if that's the size that you liked or wanted. You rode it, you spent 150 or $200 on the deck, and then boom, you're bummed, you lost tricks, it's too big. Maybe you're not big enough yet to ride it because you're still a growing kid or something, and you wish you could have a smaller deck, right? Extension decks got you covered. You just pull off the size of this deck, and then you put on a smaller size, just like that. That's outrageous. And even better, it goes the the other way as well. Say you bought a five and a half inch wide deck because all your friends said that, you know, if you want to be a street rider, you need to ride a five five. Then six wide decks became a thing. Now all your friends have six wides and you're bummed. Don't worry. The extension decks got you covered. You just slide the rails off, throw on the bigger ones. Now you have a six inch wide deck. I'm not joking. It's insane, but it's real and it's here in front of me and it is available for you guys to buy. So before we do move forward and talking about this deck, I do want to note a couple of things. First things first, Root Industries sent me one of these decks to ride before they came out. So I've personally ridden this deck and I can vouch for its strength and reliability. And number two, the deck is strong. I just wanna get that out of the way immediately right now. I know a lot of people are probably skeptical because they see these rails and once you guys actually see them coming off, you might have some second guesses in your head. But I'm gonna tell you right now, you can squash any skepticism of this deck breaking or bending or the sides coming off because it's not gonna happen. They have been testing this deck for over two years. They have put it through every test that they possibly can and is proven to be a strong and reliable system. So taking a look at the deck here on the bottom, you can actually see the rail system. So you can see this line right here. This is the separation from the actual deck to the rail system or the width system, if you will. You guys can see right here is where the rails will actually slide up and down. Taking a look at the deck, this is a completely redesigned root deck. It doesn't share the same head tube as any of the other uh, root air decks or SIG decks. It features the Honeycore cutout, which is pretty iconic to Root Industries now. I think it was uh, definitely the move. I think the Honeycore logo just really stamps this as a root deck. Like if you see this, there's no mistaking it for any other deck, which is pretty amazing. Got a cool head tube shape, very minimalist when it comes to the logos, which I'm a big fan of. I like how it just has this white root logo right here stamped on both sides of the head tube. You also have the root logo here on the top side of the deck and you have the name of the deck here on the back end. Currently this deck does only come in black. We may see it in other colors in the future. So before we take the deck apart, let's briefly look at what else you get when you buy this deck. So first things first, you get all of the extra sizes. So if you buy the deck and you wanna pretty much go through trial and error and try all the widths until you find one that's right for you, you can do it. Comes with it, it's included with the price. You also get this beautiful packet here of all the extra hardware. So inside, you get a six mil Allen. You get two axles, obviously for the different widths. And here is the smallest size dropouts. They're adorable, I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at how adorable these are, they're tiny. And the middle ground ones here are for the middle size. So you guys can see, same exact concept as the other ones, just a bit smaller. Shout out to Root, really, really nice touch. I appreciate you guys including everything for the rider in the box. So now that we've talked about what's in the box, I think it's time we can actually take the deck apart. So I'm gonna take my beautiful Vault Pro Scooters Y tool here, buy one down below, and loosen 
up my axle. And this is actually the way of taking the deck apart goes. So follow these steps in case you guys don't know how to take this apart or if you're curious how to take it apart. You just loosen up your back axle like you normally would if you were gonna take off your wheel. Once you have taken it all the way out, you can just slide it all the way out. So here's your axle. Here's your spacers. You can take one deck end off and there's also this little piece that sits in between the deck end and your actual deck. Essentially when it comes to the back end of the deck, there's four pieces. You have both of your normal deck ends and then you have these small pieces that sit right next to the deck ends. So they match the groove of it. It's really hard to put these in wrong, but you do not wanna lose these. Once you have the back end removed, all you have to do is pull the side of the deck out. Look at that, look at that. That's all you have to do. Currently, this deck is set up with the six wide rails. So these are the widest that they come. You can pull one off and then look at, ready? But once you guys have the rails off, you can see all you're left with is just this middle section of the deck. You can see a little bit more detail exactly how the rails slide in and out, which is really, really cool. Just holding this on its own is an interesting thing, but once again, revolutionary, completely one of a kind, nothing out there like it. And I just think it's such a cool idea. This deck is intended for riders that just don't know what they like yet. And a lot of you younger riders just haven't dialed in your preference when it comes to what size, anything that you ride. You guys can just figure out what it is that you like by trial and error and you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars buying different size decks to figure out which one is right for you. I think it's really cool. I'm a huge fan. Let's throw on a smaller size. I'm just gonna set these aside. I'm gonna take these ones. I think this is the smallest size. So you pull out whatever other size you want. So, took my smaller rails here and watch. Look, look at how easy this is. Take the deck set them into the rails and literally you just slide it on. But if you purposely grip your deck to where you can still slide the rails on and off, you can change the width of your deck on the fly. If you were at the skate park and you wanted to go from five, five to six, you realistically could do it in like five or 10 minutes if you had tools and everything ready. But I'm gonna go in my bag, grab the small deck ends because obviously I threw on the smallest version of these and it's just plug and play. Everything fits up nicely. Take your axle, your spacers, take your other deck end. And once again, don't forget about these small pieces. So you guys can see the smaller piece just fits right here next to where the deck end is gonna sit. So you can just plug these guys in too. But yeah, that's it. So then you plug that in, tighten it up, and your deck is back. Just like that, I swapped sizes of my deck on the go. Isn't that crazy? So now we've talked about what exactly the extension deck is. We've talked about how to take it apart. We've talked about how to put it together. Now let's quickly talk about all the overall specs for the Root Industries extension deck. Starting off with size, this deck comes in two different lengths. You can choose between 21 inches long or 22 inches long. As far as the width variants go, it doesn't matter which one you pick because the 21 comes in all the same sizes that the 22 comes in. This is where the harder decision comes into play because you as the rider have to make the decision of whether you want a 21 or you want a 22. And when it comes to width, you guys can choose between 4.75 inches wide, five and a half inches wide, or six inches wide. So essentially when you buy this deck, you get three different widths and you can choose between two different lengths when you buy it. Other than that, the extension deck does have an 83 degree head tube angle. When it comes to wheel compatibility, you guys can ride anything up to 24 millimeter wide wheels all the way up to 30 millimeter wide wheels. So if you wanna ride wide wheels, you're good to go. It does come stock with this Root Industries brake. Take a look at the bottom. You guys can see this giant cutout here to help reduce weight. Big fan of this deck's blunt plate. This is a very, very flat blunt plate, which is gonna make blunt stalls and blunt slides pretty much effortless, which is really, really nice. And there's actually a lot of blunt space as far as your wheel to the actual plate goes. So if you guys are a fan of blunt stalls, this deck has a lot of space. So you guys should be able to lock into those no problem. And last but not least, when it comes to specs, let's talk about weight. You're looking at 3.8 pounds. So 4.75 by 21, 3.8 pounds. But if you were to jump up to the six wide version and stay on the 21, you're looking at 4.3 pounds. When it comes to the 22 inch version, if you were gonna ride 4.75 by 22, you're looking at an even four pounds. And if you were to jump up to the six wide version by 22, you're looking at 4.5 pounds. So. We have dived into what exactly this deck is about. We have dived into everything this deck has to feature. We've dived into everything that makes this deck unique. I think it's time we go into the warehouse and we pass this deck around to everybody that hasn't seen it yet and just get their raw, genuine reactions when they see this deck slide into a bunch of different pieces. What is this contraption? We didn't have these in my day. I can see it looks uh, very interesting. A lot of parts. Lots of moving, lots of moving parts here. Yo, that's wild, dude. <laughs> like, 
The machining that goes into this, that's crazy. And then you can put wider sides on. <sighs> you can just slide on. Now you're a six wide, just like that. Wow. I gotta give it to him. That is what you would call innovation. Four inches wide. It is I a pro told model. I that with my eyes. Because you actually wrote a Razor pro model. Yeah. Isn't it crazy that you guys were doing 50s on that? Yeah. No, I mean, look at that space. That's enough. Yeah. I'm just freaking out about just the simple of <laughs> this deck. It's crazy. All righty, Andy, take a look at this deck. Looks like the sides are weird, no? It's a different here. Take off the back axle. Oh, jeez. Oh, so much relax. Stuff. I want you to pull the side of the deck back. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. All right, well, what, what's the point of that? Essentially, you can change the width of the deck. So right now it's 4.75, and it comes with sizes for five, five, and six. So you can slide these out and then slide in a bigger size. So essentially you slide this one in and the other one, and then you have a six wide deck instead of a 4.75. How crazy is that? That's really crazy, actually. That's that's pretty cool. Dude, this is like the first of its kind. I think, uh, I think it needs something, Andy. Come on, Andy, just think about your roots <laughs> of working here at the vault. What does it need? Oh, I got you. Boom. What are you doing? Grease in my deck inserts. How wide do you think this is, Andy? That's four inches. How do you know it's four inches? I just know, trust me. Would you look at that? Four inches on the dot. How'd you know that? You don't want to know. No, I think that, I think this is actually really cool. I think especially for kids who don't know what, what size deck they want, this is going to be the move. Because let's say you're playing like a game of scoot with your boy, right? And your boy's got a six wide and you're on like your four wide. He pulls out a front 50. All right, give me 10, 15 minutes. Swap them out, four wide to six wide. Boom. Now you're set. 10, 15 minutes, back to four wide, do a little bry flip, you win the game, you know? All jokes aside, I think it's cool. Alrighty, well, that's gonna be it for this episode of What's New in Scootering. Hopefully you guys learned everything that you needed to know about the Root Industries extension deck. If you're interested in picking one of these up for yourself, make sure to click that link down below, make sure to pick one up and uh, let us know what you guys think. If you have recommendations for any other products that you guys wanna see us break down or talk about, make sure to drop a comment down below letting us know because if you wanna see it, we will make it happen. Make sure to check out the Vault Pro Scooters. All of our social medias are down below. Make sure to check out our website for all of your scooter needs. Make sure to check out my links. They're down below. And until the next video, you guys, have a good one.